We play and call it work. Hey there, War Gamers. Josh and Lee here to bring you this week's Sit and Talk, the show where we sit and uh, talk. Yeah. Uh, so we answer all of your questions that you left on the previous video. Heads up for everybody, next week is going to be Quirk. So if you have any uh, questions for the Bevs, leave them in <laughs> this video, not the vault video, because we don't answer questions from there. And if you don't or follow YouTube. instructions... Or YouTube. No, the comments are disabled. Oh. Yeah. So don't, do don't do it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. It's fake news. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions for uh, Quirk, leave them in the comment section of this video. Say, hey Quirk, hey Beverly, hey QFed, whatever you want to call him. Get his attention and ask some questions. Uh, without further ado, we're just going to jump right on into it and uh, start uh, seeing, Answering some questions. seeing what you got. So, uh, first up, we got Vito the Vest Verano. <laughs> if you folks are familiar with him, Vito is a... He, he was a more regular guest a little while ago, playing mostly 30k, and he is one of the folks working over at the bunker right now. So, his question, uh, at Josh and Lee, how's it going, bros? Uh, it's going well. Pretty good. The, uh, <laughs> we, we, we've jury-rigged some air conditioners here at Mini Wargaming, yeah, so it's, it's, not, really nice. it's not like 34 degrees in here right now. Uh, have you, any of you guys listened to the Theoreticus Her Heresy Saga? Uh, essentially, it's a three and a half hour audio of what if Robodorn became Warmaster and the Loyalists were traitors. Okay, so a new take on the Dornian heresy, which is something I, I want to give credit to Bolter and Chainsword because I think that's where I started seeing the Dornian heresy stuff. Yeah, I think stuff. that's where it came from. But I don't know if that's actually the origin of it. Uh, but it's for free on YouTube. Highly recommend it. Cheers, boys. Uh, I have not. I'll admit that I haven't read up on the Dornian heresy as much as. I maybe would have wanted to. Just I have never got around to it. Have yeah. you? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. It's it to be fair, it actually sounds better than what Games Workshop is doing. Oh is it? Yeah. Yeah. It makes more sense. Okay. Now, now have, this, it, have you I listened actually, to this one? Yeah, I actually started listening to this because I saw it and I was like, ooh, what's that? And okay. checked it out. Uh the guy's voice just is grating, so no. <laughs> you can't listen to it? No. Okay, but the the content of what you heard him say. Well, basically, did, what yeah, what they do is, in the Dornian Heresy, Horus still becomes Warmaster. Okay. And Dorn doesn't like it. In this one, Dorn okay. becomes Warmaster. So that's uh, the the biggest okay. change I could see. But that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, a simple one on that one is I really haven't um, haven't really checked it out a whole lot. I'll admit, for whatever reason, I've been reading less and less books lately, or at least like 40k ones. I've started in on a couple other series, a couple other books, and I gotta come back to 30k when I can get interested again. Uh, I think I think we gotta get Luca because Luca listens to the audiobooks um, on the way into work. Yeah. So we gotta get Luca listening to um, more stuff, and then uh, that'll that'll be able to spark more conversation and get me. Uh, mm -hmm. Interested again. I don't know though. I can't sit and listen to like audiobooks or videos or stuff like that. I'm I don't know. I just can't sit still that long. No, me neither. But I actually found because I looked at this, the Theotokos Heresy Saga. I started listening to it and then I just decided to check if there was actually a Dornian heresy oh on yeah. YouTube because I yep. hadn't checked and I found one. Oh, is there? Yeah. In Russian. Duh. So, that's one. It's so funny. If someone wanted to make it in English, That'd that be would cool. be amazing. Now, the Russian wargaming community seems to be pretty big. The, the I think I've only really scratched the surface of finding stuff online, but that's one where like I cannot remember a, a Russian guest that's come in, no, like ever. But if you go online, there's a lot of really talented people over there doing oh, yeah. a lot of really great hobby stuff and uh, gaming stuff overall. I, I, I don't know what the disconnect is. Um, so I don't know, do 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 Russian folks watch Mini Wargaming? Probably. So we know people from all over the place. Like I, got, I got another guy coming in uh, uh, from China. Yeah. Uh, you know, Australia, Germany, we get, we because I, I handle all the uh, incoming emails for um, uh, 
guest requests, I guess we'll say right now. Booking and stuff? Yeah. Um, I can't remember anybody. We get a couple people from Poland every once in a while. But Russia? No, I don't know. But, I mean, some of... Because the, the bits that I always wanted to get for my Night Lords that I've never gotten around to doing, uh, they're from Russia. Yeah. Is that uh, the cloaks you clip on? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, Russian guys, what's up? Russian war gamers, <laughs> are you watching? Are you there? Comment back with, duh. Do they have internet? I, I, well, they do, because they got a bunch of cool stuff on the internet. Yeah, true. That is true. All right. So, uh, Vito, we don't know. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't listened to that stuff. I just can't sit still and listen to stuff. Uh, except for, you know what? Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, the the new audiobook they're doing for uh, Go Trek and Felix. And they got Brian Blessed doing the voice for it. Whoa. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> I can listen to that. You know what I say, though? But we'll be able to listen to it for like 15 minutes, and then that'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, all right. Next comment here. See, we said we're like, yeah, we only got like 27 questions. This is going to go super fast. And then I realized with like the 30 questions we normally have, we go way over time. Yeah. So, And we've just spent uh, six minutes on this. Yeah. Okay, I was, I was Vito. Yeah, I know. It's it's been six it's minutes on Vito. Vito, jeez. <laughs> so Mylan, we got Hey Janky Josh and Luxurious Lee. Okay. Oh boy, do we sound sleazy. I yeah. like it. <laughs> uh, have either of you ever played the Hobbit game? And I assume you mean the tabletop game. Uh, I feel like I hear nothing but very positive things about the game, but just don't know anyone who plays it. Have you ever played the Hobbit? No. It looks really I haven't cool. heard good things about it, though. Uh, it's the same. Like, everybody knows somebody. That's what Matt and Dave started on. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it. I don't know what force I would play. I actually got a little bit maybe excited about it because um, I got talking to Luca about him playing. Yeah. And he says that he would play again. Um, I don't know if we'd ever bother covering it on the channel because I don't know if there's the demand for that. And I know every time we say that, people are like, oh, no, there's a ton of demand. They said the same thing about X-Wing, but nobody cared about our X-Wing coverage. So, who, who knows? <laughs> but anyways, um, I was super jazzed, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what I'd want to play, you know, but I think I'd want to, and as I'm saying that, Lucas starts to say, I play, and we both went, Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, go away, I hate you. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, the the Iron Hill Dwarves look really cool, but... Uh, but uh, that's uh, that's Forge World money that Josh doesn't have right now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to start that just for fun. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind uh, trying out the Hobbit game. I just don't know what faction I'd play. I think uh, the Rangers would be another one that I would uh, look at. The Rangers of the North, because um, it seems like a cool faction yeah. that, that looks appealing to me. But I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've never I've never heard anything negative about it. I don't know. Is there? I don't think there's a difference between the Hobbit game and the Lord of the Rings game. Proper I think it's pretty much the same game. Is it the same thing now? I think so. I don't know. I haven't really. That's how much I know. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm not super familiar, but uh, if anybody, I don't know. Like I, I assume if you're if you're watching our sit and talk, you um, probably watch my games as well, and you probably have an idea of my play style and what I like. So if you got any suggestions on, you know, if I wanted to check out The Hobbit and get a little war band slash army going on, shoot me an email, joshminiwarrioming.com because I'd, I'd love to talk to somebody out there that plays. Um, we're gonna get, now we're gonna get, I'm gonna get some Russian war gamer emailing me about The Hobbit. In it's, Russian. All, it's all gonna come together, in Russian. strangely. So you have to translate it. There but they don't have robots in Lord of the Rings, though. Yeah, I, I like the robots, but at the same <laughs> point, like the, the 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 concept of some sort of just big giant creature. <laughs> That's what I like about it. They're they're big and imposing. I like the lower model count. It doesn't actually have to be a robot. Yeah, it does. Yeah, robots are pretty dope. <laughs> um, also, Josh, give me an update on your Team Yankee Force. Uh, it really hasn't went anywhere. It tries I might. Uh, nobody locally is really interested in it, even though Rob might be getting into it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my hooks into Rob. Again, it's not something we're going to see Mini Wargaming cover anytime soon, but I'm getting closer and closer to... Because um, Rob wants to maybe cover it on his channel, uh, Board Game Maniacs. 
So if we get a following there, and then the other thing is I've looked at, and I, I've always wondered, like, is it worth me starting my own channel just as an excuse to play the games I want and try to get people in to play against? Because the biggest thing is that nobody wants to come in and play. Like, if I can find somebody locally that plays Team Yankee and get more into the game and then try to build a community, it's just not coming together right now. So I still have my, um, I still have my uh, West Germans. And I want to add some new stuff in, but again, it's lower on my priority scale. Uh, we do have some other stuff here. Uh, Robbie's going to go ahead and paint up, because uh, we've got some Soviet stuff painted. Just a T-72 company without really any support, but we're trying to get some extra we'll stuff there. helicopters? Yep, yep, yep. and the, with the Heinz that uh, they, they come in the starter. And the T-72s are pretty cool little tanks. They're, they're good. Uh, we've also got the UK starter that we're going to get painted up. So I don't know if 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 the game can kind of take off a little bit and there could be somewhat of a following. Like I like that game well enough and I like the aesthetic of it that I would put the effort in. It's just it's a it's a lot to try to build an army and keep the army fresh and do videos and all that and um, that that would be the way I'd have to be playing it to to justify how much time it would take because nobody locally plays. Unless, like, you're randomly watching th for this for the first time and you're a local that plays Team Yankee, then give me a shout because, like, we'll figure something out. <laughs> but I think the, the, the thing about Yankee and some of the other games we're interested in is the hope would be when the bunker eventually opens that we'd have the space and the, the, the time to be able to start, like, an after work kind of league or, you know, get some locals into some different games and get some proper gaming going on because it's tough here because the current setup is we just have the film studios which you can play in but it's not the same as having the store environment and getting people in uh, seeing people playing the game and building a community so yeah it's 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 stale I need other people that play uh, and then Mylan again at Josh this message is delivered to you during every sit and talk and this week it is my duty and my privilege to thank you for keeping 30k alive Hashtag Heresy Train has no brakes. Yeah, I still love my horse, Heresy. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a fun game. A, as I've talked about in... I can't remember if it was the YouTube or the Vault video for my last set that went out. Not many people were requesting to come in to play. Um, so we do what we can. I mean, there's one fellow who's uh, shot me an email. Maybe Saturdays he can come in and play once in a while, get some people down, see, see if I can get something going on there. It's just... Um, Overall, I think by far I'm still the one with the most interest in Horus Heresy here, with Luca being a close second, <coughs> as far as people that regularly play. Mm, okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm talking about like the, the, the coverage of it, because uh, you're pretty busy with stuff going on. Like I can't pull you twice a week to play 30K to keep 30K content going out. Well. But, I mean, at the same point, you look at it and you look at the numbers, and there's still a following when we put out 30K videos, but it's... Getting smaller and smaller. So I play because I like it. Uh, but that only goes so far. So I'm still playing. Still going to play whenever I can. We just got to get more people coming in. Try to keep that uh, community alive. Yeah, we need a new book. Yeah, we the do need a new book. The new book needs to come out soon. Because it's been forever. Yep. It's, it's just kind of stale and just there's so much going yeah, on. Yeah, now they're pulling stuff off their again. website and stuff. I don't know what's going on. Well, I mean, like, those are old sculpts, so I'm not, like... No, they're not. That's the thing. They're not old. They're it's, not, it's they're all not new sculpts, though. No, but it's... They're all, like, fine. Wait, you inspect them? <laughs> yeah. They're all fine. They're fine. No, I mean, it's like the torsos and heads and shoulder pads for yep. tactical rings. Yep. I mean, they don't need new kits for those. I don't know. Maybe they just... Who knows? Well, whatever. Who knows? I can't speculate. Next, we got Margin, Mary Jan, Mary Jan 999, how's Canada? It's just fine there, bud. <laughs> it's warm. Um, yeah, it's, it's warm and humid right now, and I don't like it. And we're only at the end of May. Now, because of the humidity, what I've had to do... Okay, actually, do you notice anything drastically different about me? Yeah, you breathe not as fluffy. Yeah, because I cut a quarter of it off. <laughs> I cut a quarter off. Like, I, I basically took the sides right down because it was poofing out, like, to here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. So I actually got it trimmed straight down. It doesn't look like I did. No. 
but yeah, no, I cut probably a quarter of my beard off. <laughs> so let me know if you noticed when the video started if Josh chopped a bunch of his beard off. No, you have to during the summer. It's just, it's bananas. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing something different with it. I put, uh, I got bored and got uh, Heather to put some braids in the other day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and everyone at the office laughed at you when you took them out? No, I wore them all day. But you took them out? Well, yeah, you're not going to sleep with them, man. Lame. That and the fact that because of how thick it is, like, if you were to sleep on them funny, it would just kind of, like, curl up over here and I'd never <laughs> be able to get it to go back. <laughs> it takes a lot of work to get the beard to sit down. So, I don't know. I might do something different with it. I'm not sure. Uh, da -da -da. Just wanted to ask, uh, have you and Luca decided about a name for your shows? And do you have any idea what kind of shows they will be? Just bat reps or something more original? Okay, so for this kind of stuff, um, no, because every time I give Matt a name, like, I can't find a good one. The, I think the one that really chuckles at that everybody enjoyed the most was uh, Josh Ruins Everything. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty funny name, but uh, no. So I, you know, I'm still stalled out because everything we came up with was either too, it was too long or didn't adequately describe at a quick glance that this was a battle report thing going on, like that it was a competitive game so yeah uh, that one we don't know uh nope. luca's in the same boat we we can't find anything that we really love for him except for the one that he hates which is uh, j that's just the luca the dice <sighs> he hates it so we started to say it in bat reps <laughs> see if it sticks i'm so glad i don't have to deal with this stuff yeah it's true uh, so no. Now as far as what kind of shows they're going to be, I don't think we're going to do anything drastic. I, 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 like I'll open this up to you folks, let me know what you think. Uh, shoot me an email, it's probably the easiest way because I don't want this comment section just to be talking about the stuff I'm talking about now. Uh, even though if it is, whatever. Um, yeah, because we hardly ever look at it after we're done, right? I check, well I, I don't usually look at the sentence talks after because I tell people not to comment in there, but you know what, comment in here if you want, I'll pay attention to it anyways or you can email me. With all of our different styles, like how different are the way that we do bat reps? Like, is a Josh bat rep already different from a Luca bat rep? Beyond just the fact, like, there happens to be a different person standing there, is there already a different aesthetic kind of feel to it? Is it, is it, who, <coughs> is it who, who's holding the camera? Yeah, like. I mean, if it's you and Luca, which one of you is it? Right, you know, so I, I don't really know. Like, I don't want to have, like, a gimmick to the show. I just tend to play the game how I like to play the game and that's that's kind of it but I don't know if people want some kind of a gimmick or thing like that um, so yeah I don't know it, it's it's kind of again it's one of those it's stalled up we're not really sure what we want to do with it because like if you look at uh, Stevie's uh, the gaming with a mountain right as far as I know it's nothing different gimmicky it's just it's it's the name of his show so it's easier to find a Steve bat rep if you want to watch a Steve bat rep oh. So let me know what you people want. Now, that being said, uh, I'm not really supposed to film that much anymore because I've got a bunch of other responsibilities, so. Yeah. My show's semi, well, I, I, hypothetically my show would be semi occasional, like not a super regular thing. Um, at Lee, hey, Lee man, don't have a question for you. <laughs> don't drink and use a scalpel. Okay. You're not his supervisor. Yeah. He can drink and use a scalpel if he wants to. <laughs> uh, that's good advice. I'll, I'll ignore it. <laughs> Kip, uh, we're still doing good for time here. Actually, we're making really good time. Next, we got Flip Mode SH. At Josh, would you consider running the Studio 30K armies that are no longer used, or are getting, a, are you getting enough variety from guest armies to stick to your own? Um, okay, so for the different 30k armies, if, if 30k kind of took off more in popularity and it was a thing we were playing more, I might start to use studio armies. But I've got that really small Imperial Fist Force, I don't know what I want to do with it. And it's again, one of those, actually I got my most of my Mordians back, so they're near done, so the Fists are getting closer to the top of the ladder. But I play them for, I really like playing them in Zormortalis. Got my Night Lords that I really like. Uh, that's a personal army. Excuse me. And then the Mechanicum is a studio army. 
So there's already some variety going on, but I assume you're talking about things like the uh, Sons of Horus. Eh, they're a bunch of losers. Uh, I got I got no real interest in playing them. Uh, the Salamanders, eh, they're a bunch of softies. If I was playing enough 30k that I got bored of the armies I have, um, I'd probably go ahead and maybe try playing some other stuff. But the stuff that I play is the stuff that I like to play. Yeah. So I <coughs> wonder what the the enjoyability of the bat rep would be like with me playing an army I'm less interested in. Because that's what it comes down to. I mean, there's there's other people might be good at it. I can't speak to that. I can't fake enthusiasm for an army I'm not excited about. Like, if it's an army I don't care about playing, you can tell it's an army I don't care about playing. <laughs> so, we'll see. But yeah, usually the guests have enough variety for the, the little bit of 30k that it, we get the chance yeah, to Yeah, and you don't do them that often that if you, like, just switch up between those three armies. Right. You're going to have a lot of variety. I mean, if for whatever reason the demand for 30k went through the roof, and, like, let's say for a while we didn't have guests, and it was just Luke and I filming against each other all the time. I guess I'd have to start playing some of the other armies, yeah. and he'd have to start playing some of the other armies. But again, there's not the 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 overall demand for 30k because we've only got so much time to put into different stuff, and it makes sense as we we try to grow the business to stick with what's doing really well for us. Uh, not exclusively, but I mean, there's going to be a focus there. Uh, at Lee, are you tempted by the new Games Workshop Knights, or are there any Forge World ones you would like to add? So if you're not familiar with Lee's uh, knights, because I don't think you've shown them off in videos. I think I've shown uh, them off I in videos show, more. They got showed off yesterday. Oh, did they? Yeah. Okay, so that well, okay, cool. Because uh, Lee has had a nice little uh, ha house hawk shroud army, I guess you would call it, for a while now yeah. on a really cool display board. I've used those knights on occasion, but um, are you tempted by any of the new G Dub knights that are coming out? Not really. I like the small. What's my call it? The armagers. Yeah, I like those. Yep. But the new gunboat, I don't really like it that much because I thought it would be bigger because it's just the same size as a, as a regular knight. Yeah. But just with more guns. So, no, I might get some armagers though because I think they're pretty neato. Yeah, we were kind of we were back and forth talking about it because I was thinking about picking some stuff up because yeah. I don't know, like I'm, I like buying things. Yeah. Uh, and the, the question was to Lee, like, would it be weird if we just got them done in Hawk Shroud colors anyways and kind of have, like, a combined yeah, little like force? A, yeah, like a big night force. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of what we said a lot, because I've already got a pair of the Forge Bane Armagers, and the new stuff is coming out soon, yeah. so. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Because I, I like the look of the new, uh, um, not the little ones, but the bigger night. So the, oh, what are they called? I uh, Dominus. I think it's a Dominus, and I can't remember the name of the other one. I, I like those, and I wouldn't mind adding one. Uh, but I was also thinking about, like, do I just do a, like, a free blade and some little armatures to run around with them or something yeah. like that? Uh, so I don't know. I might add some stuff personally, but I don't know. The, the, I got to stop adding things to and my personal stuff? collection that the studio already has anyways. Yeah. But I don't want to either. And as for the Forge World question, uh, yeah, I want the big one. I can't remember what it's called. No, they've shown a new variant of that too, eh? Oh. With uh, new guns. Yeah, I want one of those. Because that's pretty much the size of the, the, new, uh, the Perifian new or whatever, yeah. right? That's the size you wanted it yeah. to be? Oh, that would have been crazy expensive. Yeah, but still, it would be cool. It's true. Because I just saw all those guns, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. And then it's just like, meh, they're the same size, everyone else. Yeah. But, I mean, there's nothing that says you can't just make it bigger. It's true. Let's give them stilts. Yeah. Or, like, I wonder, like, if a suitably seating base would make them look uh, a little bit more epic. Yeah. I'm standing on something. So. But, yeah, that's pretty much it from, because... I don't know, I didn't even check the price of it, because my knight's are really, really low priority now, because the army's done. Yep. But let's see, we'll see what they come out with. So, yeah. There, that answers that. Yep, done. Uh, bu 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 we got time for one more here, because I think we're going to talk about this one, like, not super long, but long enough. Uh, at Lee, 
Is there any possibility of there being a time lapse video with vague descriptions of what you are working on, such as when you were working on painting a model, just a description of what color you're using and what for? And when I say what you're working on, I mean this was the project this week. Here is how I spent my time, and boom, Lee goes to action. <laughs> um, do you want to start by answering, or do you want me to answer it? Well, you can give your answer. Okay. So, from a scheduling and logistics perspective, uh, is there any possibility of this happening? No. Simply because um, putting a camera on somebody in their workspace for like eight hours just doesn't work. So Lee's not a content producer, so no. he doesn't have the camera knowledge. So we'd have to have somebody there, you know, to set pretty up. much on call to set it up and come help him with stuff, yeah. you know, moving around, figure things out. I mean, make I sure could it's learn working it, right. but that would take time. Well, it would take time, and it would be one that, you know, unless you're doing it all the time. Yeah. But then if you're doing that all the time, then you're not doing what the video would be of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's it's just one of those from a logistical perspective, no. I think from a personal perspective too, being in front of the camera is one where it, it, it affects you more than what you realize, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Especially if it's for a long amount of time. Just, you know, because... If he goes to sit down and take a break real quick or do whatever, he's going to fiddle with the camera. It's just one of those be, being being monitored 24-7. It just kinda, it yeah, kinda like, grates it's kind of grates on you. Do I talk the entire time? It's or distracting. It's weird. Yeah. The, 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 I think that's one of the major things is it's distracting. So maybe once in a while there's the chance that, you know, if Matthew's got some free time, he's going to hang out. But yeah, the time lapse stuff just doesn't work for the the style of work that Lee is doing and his his way of doing said yeah. work. Like anything you want to add to that one? No, and like, I mean, it, there's been talk about me having a camera on me for a while now, but for me, it's yeah, it's all the logistic stuff. And where would you put the camera? Because I'm all over my office. I'm never not at one spot for yep. any amount of time. Yeah, that's the thing. And then I go for breaks, and then I go to the bathroom. And right, there's all kinds of stuff. Right. So I'm I'm gonna say no to this one. Yeah, it's just one of those. It's just not in the cards right now. It no. it it's not as easy to pull off as you think it would be. No. And if we did it really simple, basic, the video would suck. Yeah. <laughs> like with it, it would be terrible. Nobody would want to watch it. Yeah, like with Chris's quick tips. He's, right. he's got a whole section of his office right. just set up just for that. I mean, we're, we're talking about a piece of table that's about that big. Yep. And he's got two lamps. He's got a camera. He's got all kinds of stuff. But he's going to have the whole office, you know, and he's yeah. got, he doesn't have really much space to work. So if we did something like that with Lee, he wouldn't really have any space to do the big projects that no. he's working on. Because um, when I'm, like, the, the board I'm working on now, I mean, I've been cutting that all over the place. Yep. Just wherever there's space, I'll just use that space. So, I mean, you could have me, like, about that big on the screen, right? Yeah. But that big. And that's my whole office. Then you won't really see anything. So, and I'm not wearing a GoPro. Because that would be dumb. <laughs> Forget to turn it off every time you go to the bathroom. Yeah. Poor Rob editing that. Oh, no. <laughs> that's going in the vault. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, but not in the cards right no. now. Um, that being said, uh, Cullen is back part time, so Cullen's hopefully gonna do some like behind the scenes filming type stuff. Um, so you, you you might have Cullen going down and yeah. spending an hour or two filming or doing something like that. So yeah. I don't know. The more I think about it, then maybe there's the hypothetical of you know one very specific small part of a project. Uh, maybe talking to Cullen to figure out if there is a way to do a time lapse because he's a pretty smart kid. Yeah. He might be able to pull something off. Huh. But he's not here today. Well, he's not here today. So, yeah, it's not going to be something like... It's, a, it's, it's not, not going to be, be on the regular. Time right? lapse of, like, the... It's, it's not going to be the way you're thinking of it, but maybe we'll bug Cullen a little bit and see um, what he can come up with. Because that might be cool. 
But at the same point, I mean, if we do it, it's going to, the amount of time and resources we put into it, it's going to be offset, obviously, because we're running a business by, yeah. you know, some sort of profit from it. Um, oh. Yeah, maybe there is something there, because people talked about it enough. Hmm. hmm. Well. When you randomly... <laughs> <laughs> So, Russian war gamer that's going to email me about The Hobbit, when you do that, remind <laughs> me about this too, and I'll maybe no, cause start, I'll, I'll, because uh, Cullen's here like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday sort of thing, so maybe I'll talk to him next Monday and see if he can come up with something clever. Yeah, because he just did the behind the scenes thing. Yeah, because I think he started to do like open vault stuff. Yeah, so he did like one for the, for YouTube, that was everyone, and then he did one in the vault that was just me. And he actually mentioned that he might come down and take some videos of me building stuff. But that's not going to be a regular show, I think. But we don't know. Yeah, we know. I mean, if that's what the people really want. Well, I know for a fact that the hobby side of the... The hobby side of the hobby isn't really covered. Yeah. Well, because, yeah, the tricky thing is... Because when we talk about stuff, because it's funny, because okay, now I'm going to go off on a tangent, right? <laughs> uh, this is going to be a I, quick question. I don't think all the viewers necessarily realize that all of the regular content producers and other people, like, you know, the support staff as well, uh, there's 11 of us, 12 of us, 11 of us, there's a bunch of us. Yeah, it's uh, and all the all the regulars here. This is our full time nine to five job. Yeah, uh, and Cullen's doing this like as a part time thing because he's also doing stuff for school. So it's not a matter of just you know when we when we look at certain things and what we're going to film, what we're going to put time and resources into. It's not as simple to say I don't know what what do we want to do just for fun and not have to worry about the fact that if we're just doing stuff like that and you know the we're, we're not generating any kind of income from it no. the i mean like I mean, people are out of a job so i mean that's a consideration when we look at stuff like this yeah we're not we're not doing this for fun yeah I mean, this it is, is fun oh it is fun but definitely it's, it's our job and there are people out there doing this for fun i don't think they're doing it at the same volume that we are but, uh, so, yeah, trying to find stuff like that. There's so many cool little ideas. Um, but, yeah, maybe, that, maybe there is something more there. So this is, this is the, me trying to explain the internal dialogue you're watching me have right now, figuring <laughs> this out. I don't know why I'm doing it on camera. But, we're uh, filling time. But no, no, we're not, because we got uh. a bunch more questions to get through. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Russian War Gamer. It's funny how you answered my question, though. Well, pretty much. Well, because we've answered it so many times yeah, already. We have. <laughs> I can more eloquently just say no. No. And then apparently go back and think about it for like three minutes. <laughs> so, uh, for everybody that left questions, uh, whether we've answered them or not yet, uh, thank you so much. It's uh, you folks taking, you know, five minutes out of your day to write a question that generates this content in this show. So, if you don't leave questions, you don't get the sit and talk. Uh, next week is going to be Quirk, so if you got questions for Quirk, leave them in the comment section of this video, not the vault video. We and not on YouTube. There. I don't think you can on YouTube, and even if you can, we won't look at them. Just write <laughs> it on your screen with a Sharpie. Uh, other than that, we're going to jump into the vault and answer the rest of the questions now. So your vault member, check the link below. You're used to this. You know how it works. Yeah, you know what's going on. Uh, if you're not a vault member and you want to check out the rest of the sit and talk, you can click in the description below the link, and it'll take you to the seven day free trial, which is kind of more like I think it's like a thirty seven day free trial, because it's a seven day free trial, but then we do a thirty day money back guarantee yeah. after we charge you after the seven days. So, and yeah, then if, you, if you want to go through the trouble of getting like recharged, then it's more than seven days, right? If you, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you really want to stretch it out, you're going to have to send an email and say, yeah. hey, I'd like to get a refund. Yeah. Uh, that being said, my, the, the, the majority of the people that try the vault end up sticking yeah. around for the vault anyways. Uh, so if you want to try it out, check it out below. If you don't want to check it out, don't. you don't get to listen to the rest of the questions, but that's okay. <laughs> Keep being awesome. <laughs> Happy Wargaming. <laughs>